I think it was an extremely dignified uh, service that we've seen this morning as the cortege left the barracks and made its way to the Guards Chapel in London where the funeral will be, will be taking place at one o'clock this afternoon. This is an important part of grieving and of showing our support for those who are acting in our name and putting their lives on the line, sometimes uh, with fatal consequences. There is no doubt that the guys on the front line will take encouragement and comfort from the fact that so many people back home A, recognise what they're doing and B, are showing them their support. And also hopefully putting an arm around their families and making sure that they are uh, looked after, that their needs are fully catered for. That's part of what's called the military covenant, covenant between the people and the armed forces. I was talking to the former Secretary of State, Des Brown, who was um, his boss, Colonel Thornley was military advisor to, to the Secretary of State uh, and uh, he has told me just how much he valued and admired the qualities of Colonel Thornley. So the army has lost a very fine man and of course his family tragically have been robbed of a wonderful father. As regards the Colonel, he's part of the family really because whatever guards you're in, we're all basically the same, all been through the guards depot and um, drilled in the same uh, frame of mind. But, uh, it's very, I feel quite emotional about it, you know, particularly about all the others and the ones who are maimed because they're all fighting fit, fit young men and we can't afford to use, lose a lot of people in this country because the numbers are gradually dwindling.